Welcome to the Sasha Show. I mean, I mean, look how look how weird it is. Like, I'm just here, and you're you're like over there. It's it's like if if people were watching this, they'd think I was a Muslim. It looks like I'm tr- I'm trying to keep you somehow yeah, well, lower than me. Sorry. But I don't want people to think that because I love you and you're we're the, we're the, on the same level. You want me to do it on on the on, on me? This chair? Then people will say that I'm I'm like. A molester. Uh, that's right. I'm a molester. Oh, look at him. He's just got a girl in front of him, and he's she's sitting um, on his groin, and he's some sort of pedophile. It, and you look like you're 12. That doesn't help anybody with your hey, let me Asian sit on jeans. Your chair. Let's just switch chairs. You think my chair is higher up? Yeah, your chair is higher. Yeah, but this is my man chair, and it makes me feel superior. So if, if I'm not in the man chair, suddenly so I, I don't the have this. I don't know what we're gonna do. Do so we just not film the whole video? Um, stack of pillows. All right, let's just switch chairs. I don't mind. Let's see if this helps. Oh, girl, oh, and it's one of the broken ones. <laughs> so I'm hanging back like this. It's fine. I can survive. As long as it doesn't... So basically, for, for, for you guys, it's a chair where the metal... It's oh, you're like, already recording? Yeah, this is all going on the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, it's our fun banter, Piggy. It's fun. People love it. Anyway, it's, it's, look, I'm just going to show them the chair. These chairs are stupid. All right, look. Look at this chair. Look, it's an L-shaped chair, and you think, oh, that's fine. It's not fine, because it's not built really well, and it actually, I was sitting on it once. We can see how it's bent. It's not actually straight. And, and so I sat on it once, and I literally, my ass just went, yeah, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? It's either an earthquake or the chair is dying, and guess what? The fucking chair died. That's what happened. So, yeah, so the chairs are fucked. Anywho, so, uh, yeah, we wanted to make a special video today look look at that see that isn't it look how pretty you are look how pretty you are yeah it's the pig everyone humans uh, call her isabel but yeah. to me she's the pig um but it, it's better now isn't it yeah it yeah, looks like yeah. we're both two humans yeah in an equal way it does make a difference um, and by the way i'm still molesting her with this hand right now back here which you can't you see, can't see that. you can't see that but it's still happening all right so uh well i wanted to make a special video because it's a sad day today yeah because the pig here, she's leaving uh, for a few months to do some 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 coaching, basically. Um, and I and in the next, I know that in the next bunch of shows, I'll be complaining about the fact that I'm starving to death and there's no like there's no food and I got shit all like my clothes are dirty and I'll just be sitting there and because she takes she loves me so much she completely takes care of me in every possible yeah. way and I'm just gonna be sitting there in a pool of my own blood. I'll probably be dead in fucking two yeah, weeks. Yeah, he already has some. Yeah. Dried up food and yeah, yeah. Mustache. Like it's I'm just the, I'm picking that off. Yeah, yeah. I'm useless. So, so I'm so it just makes sense that uh that we do a little video to explain what's happening. So first of all, uh, I thought it would be cool to do a show just talking about the importance of having unique relationships, and uh and I just because I'm in such a unique, amazing relationship with this lady, uh I just wanted to talk about it, and I, I just feel really special. Like yesterday, I was just thinking about. It. I was like, I'm so lucky. She just gets me, and she loves me, even though I'm retarded. And, uh, and she's so funny and we can joke around. I can just totally be me and she gets me for who I am and we just have a really deep connection. And I just feel really lucky. And then I just think about all these people who are like always fighting and they're breaking up with people and getting back together and all this shit. And they're just in relationships that aren't, aren't right for them. And, and I thought maybe we can sort of share a little something about that. I think it's just important to, to always have unique relationships where you have a, like a unique special connection with somebody. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, is, maybe it's just that simple because like some people have this idea because it's it's g- given to us in our culture like man and to... woman come together and then they make babies. That's right, they make babies, and and so people are just going out there and making babies, and they're not really looking for unique connections. Um, and a lot of people are they're like looking for true love and all this and the perfect person, all this kind of shit. It's like no, just just find someone you have a unique connection with where it's really fun and enjoyable to be with them. Do you know what I mean? Like it's that, isn't it that simple? Can it not just be that simple? Um, and, and so for me, it's always been difficult to find those connections because I, um, I have a, I'm a really unique person. I think everybody is though. Um, so I, I'm not saying that and like I'm more special, just like I'm really unique in my experience and everyone is. Uh, and I finally found somebody who, who, who totally gets my sense of humor where I can just be completely ridiculous and she gets it. And like we had a great conversation. I'm not com- judging. I'm not no, judging at all. No, ju- wait a second. You said that in a way that secretly you are judging. Uh-huh. No. Yeah, and... yeah. I know you're. What you, I know what no. you're doing. I know you. But we had a great conversation last night where I literally just asked her, and I was like, um, I was like, how many boyfriends have you had that actually like got your sense of humor? Because you're so fucking hilarious. And your answer was, I didn't even know that I was hilarious up until the moment that I met him because um, 
my boyfriends didn't get my sense of humor. They just couldn't pick up on my jokes or um, a lot of the times we can play the ball back and forth. Like I say something funny, you pick up on that and make it even more hilarious and I put something on top of that. But I couldn't do that with my, my former boyfriends and that was sad and yeah, I didn't know I was funny. Yeah, like, 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 like it's so, it's hard for me to imagine like she's literally one of the funniest people I've met. She's hilarious. Her face is all her jokes. She just gets it. I'm I'm crying. She makes me cry with laughter. And it's it's hard for me to contemplate that she could be with men in the past that wouldn't get this. Like 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 how could you even last a day around a guy who didn't get you? I just don't. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, it's like, frustrating. It's frustrating. You, you mean yeah, it's, yeah. it's frustrating? Can you imagine me dating a woman who doesn't have a sense of humor? Can you imagine it even for a second? It would, like the first date, I would make some joke. She'd be like, oh, this is really awkward. This guy's weird. And she would never call me again, which has happened loads of times, by the way. I should say loads of times. But that's great. It's great that all those women are like, this guy's fucking weird. Because uh, it wouldn't have worked. It would have been torture mm -hmm. yeah. for, for, for me true. and for them. That's true. But I've never met anyone who is as funny as you are. <laughs> so, yeah, really, you guys aren't just that funny. And, and if you're on my level of funny... It's it's hard to 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 find that match and um, yeah I just thought well take the next best one and settle for lower right yeah yeah and that's I think what most people do right they just like you know no one wants to be alone that's the thing you don't want to be alone so you find someone and it's pretty good and you're like fuck it uh, and this is I think this is what I'm against it's like I think really that's my main thing and I'm trying to put across probably. Um, like if you're dating people, right, and you realize, you know, even if you have sex with someone or whatever, you know they're not, it's not really a unique connection, there's nothing special there, you're not really connecting, just let it go. Just let it go. Keep looking. There is someone out there who you're going to have a unique connection with. Don't get trapped in relationships that aren't working. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. Like there's so many people out there, that they're just suffering. And, and it's like, and they're choosing to suffer because they're staying with people who they're not actually enjoying an amazing connection with. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make sense. But I would have to say, um, maybe don't look for someone who is just perfect in the book. Like, you don't have to date that perfect 10. Because he is not that perfect 10. I am not that perfect 10. But our... <laughs> here it comes. So, but our weaknesses and our um, the tiny little fuck-ups that we have, that makes us... It turns us into a perfect 10. Because, for example, I'm extremely clumsy. And I don't think that everyone could be around that. And, and, and some people would really get annoyed by, by me breaking things all the time, running, literally running into chairs and, and walls and everything. This all happens. I'm just like super clumsy. And I bet there will, will be a lot of people out there who get really pissed off. Oh, this fucking girl, you can't even walk straight. And, and that's just then um, a deal breaker. But I think he, he likes this mistake that I have that doesn't make me perfect imperfection. In this imperfection yeah. is, is so um, charming in a way that he he just um, likes it and and that that makes me um, I don't know maybe more lovable although on the outside it's it's a it's a flaw and uh, whenever for example whenever he is um, is singing along to the radio or something, he never gets the lyrics. Like, it's not even, oh, he, 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 <laughs> there's like one or two words that are incorrect. No, he completely makes up a whole bunch of new lyrics and they don't even make sense. And like, literally, it's not even an English grammatically correct sentence. Like, just random English. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, I bet for some people that's super annoying, like if you're a grammar Nazi or if you're like really into oh. music, like, you're ruining my favorite song or something. But I think it's so 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 charming it is so adorable that he just can't remember any lyrics and and that turns him into something that's <laughs> so lovable and, and more perfect but but don't just break up with someone that's my point just because he's not perfect or she's not perfect or she has flaws or, or some mistakes some mistakes can be very very charming and and um, that's also then the connection we have he picks on me all the time because I am clumsy I make fun of him because he has food on his face but um, yeah, then that's something that we, <laughs> that the uniqueness that we have. Then yeah, I, I, I yeah yeah we're we definitely we're not saying if I can be perfect. That's ridiculous. No, that's and, and ridiculous. don't look for that perfect person. No, but just look for a unique connection, a connection mm -hmm. where you're like, oh cool, we we get this. Um, I heard a story the other day uh, from a friend of mine, basically, who said uh, there's a guy that he knows that he's known for years, um, and this guy I don't remember his name. But uh, he basically 
was about to break up with, uh, he was about to break up with uh, his girlfriend because one of his friends said, oh, she's not that good looking. Apparently the girl's gorgeous, but one of this guy's friends just went, yeah, she's, she's not really that hot. And he revealed to, to my friend, uh, he's going to break up with her. And my buddy was like, um, don't you think she's hot? I'm like, oh yeah, I think she's hot. And he's like, don't, like, how do you, how's the relationship? Do, do you care about her? He's like, oh yeah, I love her to bits, but you're going to break up with her because your friend doesn't think she's hot enough. And he was like, yeah, and he's going to, he, he, last I heard he was going to do it. Yeah. That is the most okay. fucked up shit I have ever heard in my life. Like I realize everybody's always living their life based on what other people think. And that's like my, I have an entire business for the last fucking nine years, pretty much based around helping people stop giving a shit what people think. Um, but even me, even me, after all the students I've done, all the shit I've been through, I was shocked to hear that. I was like, wow. Not, not, I, I can understand if the relationship was kind of so-so. Mm-hmm. It would still be a shitty fucking reason. Do you know what I mean? But, but to go, oh, I love her, but I'm going to break up with her because my friend doesn't think she's hot enough. That tells you how fucked up people are and how fucked up the society makes us. We will do absolutely anything just to, to make other people that aren't even, you know, happy. It's fucking crazy. Crazy That's thing. Bad. That's bad, right? Like, mm-hmm. I literally was shocked. When I heard that, I literally sat there and I was like, like speechless. I was speechless. I, I, I almost wanted to be like, give me his phone number right now. I'm going to fucking call. I'm going to fucking yeah. yell at this guy and just wake, like, just cuss him out. Just, you fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do that and put it on the show. Should I do that? Should I, should I get this guy's number and just call him on Skype and record it and then post it up on here and then put up his fucking name and everyone can hassle him and call him a faggot? That's what he needs. Okay, I got carried away. Um, it would be an interesting show, though. So... And, yeah, and I think another reason why we connect is like we just get each other on a deep level because we, bo- we both had the same fucked up childhood, uh, same abusive childhood. I joke about it in my comedy clips. So you're all going to see it eventually because I'm putting more and more of my comedy up. But um, yeah, we just get it. Just like not having a family and not, ha- not getting that love as, as a kid. Like, and, and like, for example, like just like one story that, that she told me where I was like, are you fucking serious? That's exactly what I have. Um, so my, my story is that I, when I was, uh, I don't know, I think I was 10 or something. I went over to a kid's, uh, a friend's house, and, um, you know, like, for, for those, that, you know, maybe you're joining us new or whatever, I used to get physical abuse and psychological abuse regularly, so always shit beaten up and shit thrown at me by my mom and stuff. So I was at this guy's house, my, one of my friends, um, Derek was his name, and we were just in his house, and we're hanging out, and I was there, you know, for like maybe two hours or something, and we're eating food in his kitchen, and his mom's just being super nice and just cool and feeding us and just like joking around and stuff, just really cool. And I had this moment where I just got really, really uncomfortable suddenly, and I, and I just went, hey, this is fucking weird. She's not yelling at him or telling him he's a piece of shit. She's not hitting him. She's just super nice and normal, and she she's just loves him, and everything's, there's no violence of any kind. And I was weirded out by it. It was so foreign to me. Mm-hmm. I couldn't understand it. I was like, what is this? This is weird. The fuck is it? I, just, I was just confused. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and, and she related to me. Like, I don't know if you want to share. Yeah, so, so my story was, was kind of similar. So I um, would go to friends' houses and uh, whenever they would even just say no to their parents or just be a little bit rude or a little bit snappy or something or do something that I would consider, oh my God, I would get the shit out of me beaten if, if I just did that. And their parents was just normal. They wouldn't react or they would not punish their children or smack them or do anything. I was like, oh my God, he just dropped something. Nothing happened. Oh, oh, this is weird. This kid just said no to his mom and uh, and she's not mad. What's wrong with these people? Yeah. Like, it, uh, it's yeah. so, so foreign. Kid should be getting punched in the yeah, face right yeah, now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, so coming from like that ab- abusive childhood, uh, I'm just like, oh, okay. Like I, I totally like just, she, she totally understands where, where I came from and I totally understand where she comes from. And we, we don't even have to talk about it. It's just like, this girl knows what's up. That's it. And so for us being there for each other and just, you know, just treating each other like human beings and just with love, it's just like something we've never really had. And now, now, we, now we have it. Mm. All right. So, so a couple of just interesting things. So. Um, it, so this is in my personal theory. Maybe I'm fucking crazy, but I, I'll keep in mind I'm a comedian, so you can't believe anything I say because I live in comedy land. But in my comedy land, 
Uh, it's important to have your own inside jokes and your own little reality mm. with anybody that you're dating because that's what makes it special. It's like I, I don't get these couples that are just like they're just normal and they just – I've seen them – like I've seen couples together where I'm literally like I'm, I'm watching them. They're like – they're normal. They eat the food and they talk and stuff and they hang around and stuff. But there's no – Oh, and they love each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. there's no like playfulness. Mm -hmm. There's no fun. They're just – um, just doing normal things, doing normal couple of things, but there's, there's no, um, it doesn't seem like there's a special relationship there. It, it just could be any two people that are together. It's, it's weird. They, they might have a special relationship just with themselves on a, on a level that we don't understand. Right. But, um, I would think that it would get quite boring after a while if you don't play around and if you don't have your jokes and, and you're just silly or... Yeah, I can laugh with each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's always a it's always just play for us. We're always fucking around, you mm -hmm. know. And um, I don't even know where to begin with. We have we have our own world of inside jokes. That's just endless. It's fucking endless. There's so many. Um, you know, me being well. Okay, I guess the most obvious thing we should talk about because I, I make little reference to this a couple of times before, mm -hmm. and people are like, "What?" Um, so we we have our own world. We're pigs, mm -hmm. and we we are pigs. Um, People for, call each other babe or honey or something. No, no we're pigs. No, no, we're, we're pigs. Um, she's got several pig designations based mm -hmm. on experiences that have happened. So first of all, um, she's danger pig. That's her <laughs> kind of her main one because she's clumsy as fuck and she's dropping <laughs> shit all over the place. And she could get anyone killed at any time. So she, and yeah, she's yeah. dangerous from that. So she's danger pig. Mm -hmm. um, and what, one of the original ones she, she gave me was uh, <laughs> magic pig. But because but, I, I, you know, I do a little, uh, some card tricks that are certain... Illusionist taught me years ago, uh, but I never really Ooh, David Copperfield. David Copperfield, mm -hmm. um, and I never really felt uh, like you know so so aligned with that really. Um, I'm uh, what what what's your what what, what well, which ones uh, do you want to talk about? We had so many. We have man bear pig. Oh, I mean, you tell them about man bear pig. Man bear pig. Well, man bear pig is obviously because he's half man, half bear, and half pig, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, yeah, the man part I don't have to explain that, but the bear part. Look, look how hairy. Look how hairy he is. Oh. And if you see that, you can only imagine how his back looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there you get the bear part. And Piggy, yeah, obviously, because he's the pig. Yeah. Um, we usually call each other either Piggy mm -hmm. or... Uh, a Pigster. Pigster is a, is a good one. Pig face. Pig face. He's a snoutmeister. I call her snouty sometimes. She's got the biggest, the juiciest snout, though. Look at, look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this thing. Like sometimes I spend hours just, <laughs> just kissing it. Just kissing it. Just Yeah, it makes her happy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and no, it just these are the main ones. I'm also MacGyver pig. Oh my god. Okay, so this woman, <laughs> let me tell you guys some some of this one. She can fix anything. It's amazing. It's you think like, oh well, she's she's German, so of course, no, no, anything. Like she, what, like we don't have a tripod, and she'll use like boxes and books and like matchsticks to create a tripod. I have a collection of pictures of like tripods she's made out of like thin air. It's it's ridiculous. But any like whenever where there's some sort of solution that that's technical, I'm like I'm not even gonna touch that. That's 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 MacGyver pig, and she'll swoop in like a ninja and just get it done, and it's it's amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not necessarily about fixing things, although I, I'm good at that too. It's about creating something that you don't have um, out of ordinary objects. Yeah. She's very she's very good at it, um, and uh, you know fucking hell, I mean we we love food, guys. Yeah. Food is a cornerstone of our life, which you wouldn't think. Look looking at her, certainly she only weighs. Eight kilos. Um, so, but we love food. We have cheat, epic cheat days and she cooks amazing shit. We're always shoving food in our face and having a yeah. great time. We love eating. We, just, just fucking, we are food people. Pigs. Food pigs. Food. Food. Oh. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So we, so we really do have our own, our own planet that we live on. It's pig planet. Oh, by the way, the, uh, so we're pig family. We have uh, one other member of our family that... Uh, I think it's about time you guys met, frankly. We've been keeping him from, keeping him from you. And it's, uh... Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Jesus is his name. Yeah. Jesus the pig. And uh, he is the most... Yeah, he's the most amazing pig ever because he's super, super... Uh, he's able to express himself really good. Like, for example, let's say he's suspicious of you. That's right. He's very suspicious. Or let's say he gets a little happy... You can express happiness. Woo! Yes. You can also express when he's uh, feeling a little bit sick. And then... <laughs> <laughs> all over the place. That's right. 
And uh, he's just amazing. He could suck his own dick. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, and, and, and he's got amazing arms, so he can really, like, wave at you and stuff. Like, look at all the stuff he can do. Like, he can wave high at you. Hey, buddy. And then he can... He, he, blow your kiss. He can blow you a kiss. Yeah, make sure to hold him up higher. There you go. Um, yeah, he, he, he's really, really an amazing, amazing pig. And uh, he can be shy sometimes. Check it yeah, out, guys. He doesn't want to see you. Yeah, yeah. Ooh! He, he, he. See, his head actually popped out. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So he, 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 he's our, a member of our family. And, like, we just have pig merchandise everywhere. Uh, we got pig stickers. And, like, and my, my, my laptop here has got a pig on it. Um, so we're just, we're, we just love, and we love pigs, by the way. They're super smart and cute. And mm -hmm. at some point, we want to have a, a farm somewhere and actually have pigs that they're running around and stuff, which is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, the little, little cute ones. Yeah, uh, and and our we have a dark secret about being pigs, don't we? I'm a little bit ashamed, but uh, you want to tell them? Yeah. Tell them. Uh, we're cannibals. Yeah. We we still eat pig. Yeah. Our we, favorite is bacon, and uh, we're not ashamed. Or maybe a little bit. We're a little bit yeah, ashamed, yeah. but we do eat bacon sometimes. A lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Baking cheesecake. <sighs> she makes it. We're, uh, so that's our, that's our dark secret. We're cannibal pigs. Um, but anyway, I think we shared enough of our, of our, of our pig world. And so, yeah, so listen, so that, that's just a thought that we wanted to have and, um, go out there and find a unique relationship. One or more depends on what you want or need, but definitely all the relationships you have should be unique in some way. And that includes with, with other men. Uh, you know, you should have unique connections that are amazing with everybody and your life is awesome. And so now, the sad part of the video, so she's going away for a couple of months to do some coaching. That's going to be really intense and it's going to help her a lot. It's going to be awesome. And uh, and it's good. It's good for us. It's good for her. Yeah. And it's good to have a break. We've been together, like traveling together all nonstop for like a couple of years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and everyone needs their own time. As, as much as we love hanging out, I recognize that you have to have some personal time to like be on your own and see where you're at and... You know, you just have to, because because you lose yourself to the relationship, right? Um, so this is one thing couples don't do. I think a lot of them they should just have some time off. So we're gonna have a little break, and uh, I'm gonna be making lots of sad videos, fucking for sure. Where I'm like, Aah! like probably like she. This is how much this woman loves me. She she's just cooking for days where there's there's a freezer full of amazing frozen food, so so I can eat when she's gone. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so the, the the joke was. <laughs> okay, uh, day two, I already ate all the food out of the freezer. I don't have any clean underwear left. <laughs> yeah, it'll just be me in it, literally in, a, in, in the corner, just like I'm so hungry and I'm too lazy to make any food. Ah, I'm dying. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be weird being back where on my own. Where my <laughs> Where I can't I find anything. Find yeah, where am I? How do I leave the house? I can only find one shoe. Yeah, it's gonna be. She's the organized one. For, she's <laughs> she's she's the one that organizes the stuff. So so it's gonna be interesting for a while, but I'll manage. I managed for you know quite a while before, so I'm probably gonna be fine. Um, so, yeah, 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 but, but guys, if you, if you're going to miss the pig too, um, maybe I'll be able to convince her to, to make, to make like a cute video of what she's doing and, and send it over and we can put it in the show and then you could be part, you could, you could check in with us all, right? Maybe, maybe something good happens. Yeah. Yeah. Only if you guys cry out for it. If you guys are like, we missed the pig. Where, what's she doing? Where's danger pig at? Only semi nudity. Yeah. It nothing. Be like, a, like children washing. Yeah. 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 Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing out of control. Nothing too yeah. All right, pig. So, uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. We wanted to make an episode together. We're sad now. We're, we're gonna go and um, film more crazy stuff and eat a lot and have fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think that's. Do you have anything to say, pig? Oh yeah. Oh, we didn't tell him about the best part. You didn't know what he did. We have a, we have our own secret system for communication, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, let's reveal it later. No, Piggy, they should know. They should know what it is. Okay, this is the last thing, right? Um, so we have our own uh, beacon system. It works really well. Uh, it's the Oink system. So let's say I'm in a Walmart or something, or, or I, oh, I shouldn't have Target. Let's say Target. Target's better. Uh, if I'm in, I go to Target more. Um, say I'm in a Target, and I don't know where the pig is. I'll just go, Oink! And then she'll go, Oink! And then I'll know where she is. So that's our, that's our beacon. Yeah. And then if that's I just for the location. That's just for, like, knowing where she is. And then if I want to signal to her, I'm coming to you, um... Oh, no, no, sorry. Two, yeah, so if I want her to come to me first, mm -hmm. that's two oinks. So I'll go, oink, oink. And then, oh, okay. for, and then for her to say that she got the message, yeah, oink. 
she'll oink again, which means she knows now that yeah. she has to come over to me. But if I'm coming to her, I'll go oink, oink, oink. And then she'll go oink to acknowledge that she should stay where she is because I'm coming over where she is. And uh, it works really well. I mean, don't steal this. This is our thing because it, mm -hmm. it won't work if everyone else starts doing it. You have to come up with your, your own animal and your own fucking weird shit that you're doing or, or whatever. But, uh, but it works amazingly well and yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's super fun. And, and I've, had, I've seen people's reactions where they're just like, like, we'll be in public and people will be like, did you just oink to find her? Are you using sounds for communication? And we're like, yeah. Because like, what, I'm going to call her on a cell phone because we're in the same store. And what if she doesn't hey, have enough? Hey, babe. Hey, yeah. Five girls turning around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> babe, where are you? Uh, yeah. And also it's better because you don't need to have a phone. Like, what if your phone doesn't work or you lose your phone or whatever? Like, you, do, do we have to have phones to, on us in order to go fucking shopping? That's stupid. We don't need to. You know why? Because we've got our own oink system. That's why. I wouldn't why. pick up anyways. <laughs> why not? Because I don't have a cell phone plan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's right. We don't really live anywhere, so we don't, we don't really have a cell phone. Um, all right. So, uh, so, yes. So, just again, just some ideas and thoughts. Um, find people you have a unique connection with and f make your connection even more unique. Have your own world. Have your own crazy fun shit that you do. And uh, don't be a boring asshole like everyone else. All and right. Accept flaws. That's right. That's right. I mean, I almost wish you had more flaws for me to accept you. But, uh, mm. yeah. Can you imagine that she used to think her snout here was too big? I think it's not big enough. I think it's the juiciest. Yeah, they, she, they used to make fun of her snout. And I think it's the most beautiful pig snout ever. And I spend like several minutes every day just loving, mm -hmm. just giving it love because it's so awesome. Anyway, so it's beautiful. Okay, guys. Oh, see you later. I hope you enjoyed the show and uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.